Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Tutorial with Sayed. In this episode we will see how to filter data and return matching records using a filter function. To follow along with me please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this workbook I have four sheets. The first two sheets is where I will demonstrate you can use them for practicing also. The third sheet is a data sheet and the fourth sheet is a key sheet. Let me tell you what this key sheet is. Before preparing this video, I prepared this data set for this video purpose. Here, I converted this entire data set into a standard Excel table. After that, I extracted the unique country names and department names from this data set using a unique function. Then I created named ranges out of this one then I use those name ranges to create this drop down menu here so that I can use them in my filter function. Now if you want to know how to create a drop down or how to use a unique function please refer to the description of this video where I will be leaving links to the videos that will be useful for you. Alright now let us begin in the first sheet that is filter single condition. Here what I want to do is I want to extract full name, email and department from this data set based on the selected country from this drop down. To do that I will start typing in my filter function in this cell that is cell A3. I will type in filter, press tab to complete that function. Now here there are three arguments that are required. The first one is array where is the data the filter function should look for. Second one is include that is trying to compare the values of a selected column with your given criteria. Finally if the outcome is empty what should filter function do. So we will start with the first argument that is array. In array I will go ahead and select my full name, email and department. Holding my shift key down, I will click on the last row. Now when I do that, you can see in the formula bar, I have the table headers and not the column headers in reference. This is because our data is in a table format. This is very useful because when your table grows, when you add more data into the table or remove any existing records, the filter function will span and shrink accordingly. So you do not have to manually change your references. All right. Now I will insert comma here. In the second argument where it says include, I want to compare my country names so that I could filter them based on the criteria. For that, I will select the entire country column here. When I do that, I will press equal to and then go back to my filter single condition sheet and click on that drop down cell. After doing that, I will insert comma. If my filter function is empty, I want it to return blank. I will close the bracket and press enter. There is nothing in my result because I haven't selected any country here. So I will go ahead and select a country from here. There we go. I now have all the records from the Austria. Now if I change my country, you can see my values will start changing depending on the country that I select. This is how we use filter function with single condition. Now let me show you how to use the filter function with multiple conditions. Let's go into the second sheet. Here I want my filter function to run when there is a value selected in country and department name. So for that I will start typing in my filter function here in cell A4 filter. In the array I will go into the data tab select my full name email and department and holding my shift key down select the last bit comma. Now in the second argument I have to run more than one condition for that I will open parenthesis that is a round bracket and then I will select my country names. This is the column I need to select. 
equal to if this is equal to I'll go back to my filter multiple condition sheet select the first drop down that is the country drop down close the bracket so if my country column is matching with the value that I selected in the drop down then I enter star remember you need to enter star this is not a wild symbol here but it is to indicate filter function that there are more than one condition that it needs to consider now in the second condition I will again open the bracket go back to my data tab and here I will select the department column after selecting my department column I will press equal to come back to my sheet then I will click on the department drop down close my bracket comma if it is empty I want it to return blank close the bracket now press enter since I haven't selected anything in my drop downs nothing is displayed here I will go ahead and select some values from here for example Brazil in my second column I will go ahead and select some value say accounts and finance there we go so I have to have both the values selected now I can switch the value of my country and the data values will be filtered accordingly so this is how we use the filter function with single and multiple conditions I want you to practice this practice as much as you can try to extract different columns different records based on country names based on other conditions that you can think about use your own data or use the sample data that I'm leaving for you the more you practice the more you will retain in the next episode we will explore more dimensions of Excel if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications thank you and have a very lovely day see you soon